One common problem with meditation that I hear a lot from people who have reached out to me with um, questions or comments is, and it comes up with me as well, is uh, how to deal with distraction. And the most common distraction is probably audio distraction. So you're in meditation and you're trying to let your thoughts go and the next thing you know you hear a, I don't know, a dog barking and it just starts to become an annoyance and your mind starts to wander and so you start thinking, why is the dog barking? Where is the dog? Whose dog is that? Or you hear maybe um, some people outside talking and they're not loud enough to hear their words, you just hear the, the mumbling, the sound. And so the mind begins to wander and say, what are they talking about? Who is that? Um, so the question that comes up is, how do you deal with these distractions? I found um, a technique um, that I have read about later, other people using it, and um, I think it's uh, pretty effective at dealing with this. And the way to deal with it is to use the audio or the sounds as your new meditative object. So if you were meditating on a specific thought or um, an object, or you were meditating on nothing, when you hear distractions, let the distractions become your new meditative object. So for example, if you were meditating and you hear the sound of a dog barking outside, rather than get frustrated, just put your mind and attention on the nuance of the sound itself, the inflection, the start, the finish. Be in the moment at every point in that sound. Um, and then follow it through till it's over. And then wait for the next sound, because there'll be sound something, an airplane flying over or uh, a helicopter outside, or um, the sound of your refrigerator, the hum that it makes, and put your attention on each of these sounds. And when you are in the moment, going through the sound as it occurs, through each phase of, of the oscillation of the, of the sound to its uh, volume increase or decrease, or the change of the sound, you will actually be meditating. It's as effective as anything else. So these things that are uh, initially frustrating are actually very effective at helping us meditate. I came across this idea when I was, uh, it was about four years ago, I was working at a very stressful uh, job situation and I, um, I was driving home one day, and there was a lot of traffic, I remember that, and pretty much my car was stopped most of the time. So I just rolled the windows down, and I was just kind of thinking about my day and how, why I was frustrated, and then I started noticing the noises around me, the sound of the tires of cars going in the opposite direction as they would splash on puddles, the sound of birds chirping in trees, you know, the sound of people talking on the sidewalk as I was going down this busy street. And as I would be uh, stopped, my mind would be focused on all the, um, the sound around me. And by the time I got home, it felt like I had been meditating for 20 or 30 minutes. It was a real meditation because you're putting your mind on some object in the moment. And um, that's really all that matters. It calms the mind, it removes the surface thoughts, and it opens you up to your own intuition. It's pretty effective, and I've since used that technique not only when um, I'm in traffic, but when I'm in meditation, formal meditation. I'm sitting and trying to come up with um, a clear no thought state 
where my surface thoughts have dropped off and I try to get to that state and these distractions happen I just let the distractions come and I even welcome them because they're not really distractions they're just new objects of meditation and that's the way to look at it anything that comes up um, maybe a pain in your in your arm or something like that that just becomes a new object of meditation that's all it's not a distraction don't let it be that hope that helps